Hi, I'm John Meehan, president and owner of Lake Erie Rubber. In this video, I'm going to talk about the properties of polychloroprene, which is usually referred to by its brand name neoprene, and that's the name that it was given by DuPont when it was created. We'll talk about the advantages to using neoprene and some disadvantages in using neoprene. And at the end of the video, I'll go over a few products that are made right here at Lake Erie Rubber out of neoprene. Neoprene is the first commercially successful synthetic rubber that was ever developed. It was used very heavily in World War II by the US government. And despite its being an early synthetic designed rubber, it's still very popular today. It's well known for being used in wetsuits, um, but it's common in many applications. One of the main advantages to using neoprene is its ability to resist swelling when it's exposed to hydrocarbon oils. And the reason it can do this is because of the chlorine that's in the molecular structure. Neoprene has good physical properties overall, considering its tensile strength and elongation. They're not quite as favorable as what you get from natural rubber, but if you need the resistance to certain chemicals and those oils, then neoprene is the right choice. It has great flame resistance, and it's one of the few self-extinguishing uh, rubbers that is available. The main disadvantage in using neoprene is the price. There are other general purpose elastomers that are available that are much cheaper. Um, although neoprene does have good performance and is a much lower cost than some highly engineered polymers that are available. Neoprene really is a jack of all trades kind of rubber. It's good at many things which makes it an easy rubber to spec on a drawing. The drawback to that is again that sometimes it's called out in a drawing when a better and sometimes cheaper option is available. Now let's talk about a few examples of products that are made right here at Lake Erie Rubber out of neoprene. The first one that we'll look at is a cable cleat. And this is a product that's used in freight locomotives. And the, the purpose of this product is to protect cables, high, power, high voltage cables, uh, from fouling on different metal pieces that are inside the assembly. And one of the main reasons that neoprene is specified for this drawing is because of that self-extinguishing aspect that I mentioned. It's a requirement for this product, and so neoprene is the right choice for this particular part. The second part we'll look at is an, a flexible connector for the air intake of a small aircraft. And on this product, the reason that neoprene is chosen is because it's going to see high temperatures over a long period of time. And again, we have those good physical properties with tensile elongation, and at the same time, being able to resist those high temperatures that it's going to see being in close proximity to the engine of that aircraft. The third product is a splash guard and this product is used also on a freight locomotive and in this particular application the reason to use neoprene is that resistance to oil and chemicals and so you get the good strength the good physical properties and that critically necessary resistance to oils for this part if you have any other questions or you just need more help, please go to lakeerierubber.com and use one of the many ways to get in touch with us.